idea was to set a piece of text from Grazia to, to music. And so that's what I've certainly done. Have, is that what you've done? Yeah, did you still? We did discuss the fact that we would have to stick verbatim. You, you can't, like, edit the text. Right. Have you been editing text? No. Yes, you have. I haven't. And, I haven't. And uh, you have to stick to the text. You can't embellish. Uh, so you've just got to use what's actually there, right? You right. can't just invent stuff. Right. I didn't invent anything. The other problem with Grazia, of course, and other Lady Mags, is the, is the collision of very serious topics with very frivolous topics. So you have to be um, you know, careful which one you go for, obviously. Yeah. So I, I wasn't. <laughs> you weren't. You failed to be careful. I failed to be careful. I went yeah. for one of the more serious things because there's some really um, quite upsetting stuff that you get in those. Well, notes. that's true. And any lack of taste in this morning's Song Wars songs it is not our fault. No complaint should be addressed to the uh, editor of Grazia magazine. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there's a regular column that they have in there as well by a lady who uh, lost her husband. He died uh, a few years ago, and she writes a column now about life after the death of her husband and all the things she's getting up to and the fact that she's becoming a less shallow person, she says. I read it quite regularly. I started reading it about uh, three weeks ago. And I was inspired to do a song about it. And I, I was worried about the taste issue. But then I thought, well, if she's happy writing a column about it, then I'm happy doing a song about the column, you know? So this is my song, and it's called After Him. That's her regular column. And she is talking about the fact that she's met someone new. So there's a lot of uh, difficult issues after you're getting over losing someone. And Is this a good idea? Do you think you've made a good choice? Well, I don't know. That's a good right. question. I was, I was gonna... <laughs> And this is set to a Latin rhythm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Now this that is going to be interesting. Now that I'm saying the words. Yeah. And these, these are real people. Yeah, mm. but I mean the whole magazine's full of real people. So it what is, do you do it's about it? Very that? real. And we did say that we were going to do songs about it. Yeah, no, it's good. Let's. I don't think we should prejudge it. I think we should play it. What's it called? It's called "Too Beautiful for a Cranky Old Bag Like Me." Let's hear it. This is one of the one of the bits from the article, and so this is about the fact that she's met someone new. Here it is. Nearly three years after Sam lost her husband in a climbing accident, she's falling in love again. But can she dare to let go of the past? We'd start to see each other nearly every day But never talked of the future or uttered the L word That would have been crazy, in fact she was right Rob O was only 27, I had more baggage than Terminal 5 Better to let it go now, so I ignored Rob O's texts when they came it was cold to him on the phone Better to hurt now than later I was too old Too damaged He was so full of life Always excited Always wanting to do so much See so many things He was too beautiful For a cranky old man like me Eventually, after a week of the cold shoulder He came looking for me What's going on? He asked, his pale blue eyes looking hurt It all spilled out Rob's death the age difference, my fear for the future, if we had a future. I like you a bit too much, I said. I'm scared. Do you think I'm going to let you go? He replied. And just like that, I knew I had to let go of the ghosts. Kick the big fat wolf out of the fairy tale I'd once lived. And tried to give this crazy thing a proper go. I was too old. I too damaged. Full of life, always excited, always wanting to do so much, see so many things. He was too beautiful for a cranky old bag like me. I think they should uh, dance to that on the final of Strictly Come Dancing. Yeah. I, I, I wrestled with the taste um, implications of you mine. You did. And uh, I played it to my wife, and she wasn't impressed. No. Uh, well, she, she's a Grazia reader. She loves Grazia. <laughs> and she said so... She's a silly woman. She is a little bit silly. You see, I don't mean that rudely. No. So, um, you just, you're, it's the right of evil. <laughs> Yeah, she wasn't impressed. She asked me what the hell I thought I was doing, and uh, she didn't think it was very funny. 